Yeah, hello YouTube. Welcome back to another video from Small Axe Music Productions. Uh, my name is Leighton. Um, yeah, I have another session here. It's going to be a short one. I'm just going to show you how I go about um, setting up a session for mixing. Alright, so I'm just going to play the, the, the track and then I walk you through the instruments and we move on from there. Alright? So, um, let's go. And by the way, I'm still moving around stuff. I'm still um, deciding on some of the arrangements. So, let's go. enough okay so let me walk you through the instruments quickly I will have a drum kit hi-hat snare top snare bottom time one time two time three time four kick overhead room um, congo drum tambourine um, bubble effect sound effect and some tabla all right that's for my percussion section all right then i have my bass i have my um guitar section rhythm section is um uh, guitar strum i have a let me just solo them as a matter of fact i have a guitar strum Alright, so and then I have a second guitar here which is I which I name a, a war strum. Yeah. Alright, then I have an acoustic mute mute here.
All right, so then I have an electric guitar here. And then I have some acoustics. Simple, right? So that's my guitar section. Cool? Right, here we are. And then I have some organ here. So you hear most of the sounds are dry except for probably the acoustic the, the um electric guitar right so everything is just dry raw dry so on the track right so i have some pads here right then i have some lead here as well all right and of course my piano Okay, and I have some chants here. Alright, so that's it. And here, I have some roads. Alright, so that's how we talk. Um, come together, right? Okay, so I'm still, as I said, I'm still chopping up things. Yeah, maybe the idea was just rushing, right? <laughs> so some some of the instruments I have that's clashing. I have, when I, I won't hear everything at once. I'll just go ahead and um slap, slice and take out some, and you know. Even maybe if I get fresh ideas, I might add, right? So some will be eliminated um, eventually. All right. So, like I said, this um, video is about setting up a session for mixing. So first, how I go about it? Let me just put my mixing window over here and enlarge it. All right. So let me move that as well. Here is my drums. What I would do is group my drums. Right? I already, sorry, I already make some groups. This is the drums. If you realize that they sold it. Ooh, it's late, man. Alright. Um, that's my drums. I made a group for it. My percussion. I made a group for the percussion. A guitar, I made a group for the guitars, keyboards, I made a group for the keyboards. So that's how I go about it, guys. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing now is add some auxiliary tracks. Right? So, here, I'll be adding four. Alright, so shift, command, N for the short, shortcut. Where are you? There we go. Um, so four stereo auxiliary tracks. All right, there we are. And I always color these. All my master tracks. I'm going to be using these for the uh, master um, feeders for each group. All right. So I will move them around. I have one there for the drums. I place one here for the um percussions then i will go over here and place one here for the guitars one over here for the keyboards and i would start naming them keyboards and then i would go up here select a bus input which i already have named keyboards all right then i would come on s to so, um, solo save this is for guitars and I would go here 
select my guitar which I don't see any so okay so I didn't have any guitar in this section here so uh, let me use this one called double and I will rename it guitars then I will go here percussions right then I will go up here percussions command solo about and then I'll go here for drum and I will need this drum kit and I will do the same thing as I did for the others all right see that okay then I will go over here set up some other auxiliary tracks this time I do five and I will color code them so I color code my effects and these are for my processing my effects this is for reverb and this is for plate reverb this one here is for comp compressor and this one here for delay one and this one here is for delay two and you go and you would name them so this is the reverb command arrow right and then i will go plead command arrow and comp command arrow um delay one command arrow delay two and there we go all right so those are there now save again then i will start routing the instruments to that particular bus so this one is for the drums so i will go and put it in drum kit and this one i'll put it in drum kit as well all right all of them There's a way to, in, to, to route all of them at once, but I don't, I'm not sure, I don't remember that shortcut. I think it's, um, you highlight the tracks here, but mine wasn't working, I don't know, somehow mine wasn't configured that way. And you would press shift, shift option command. Uh, our option command E I see that's what always happen and I'm not sure of this shortcut see that always happen okay not, not sure I remember remember this shortcut anybody out there with this shortcut could please Hook me up, hook your boy up. Okay. Anyway, forget it. I think I know the shortcut, but my system wasn't configured that way, by the way. Um, Alright, so this would be percussion. Alright, that's percussion. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, so. I will play it now and you see everything is going in in here for the drums. Alright, so everything will be going for the drums and go um, in that and the percussion in that track. Guitar is now. Okay. Oh, I want. 
Alright, so keyboards. 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 All right. So that's how we go about it. And we have our track, our session ready for mixing. Right? So, um, as you look now, everything is routed. See? the guitar section let's go again so I can mute the drums I mute this mute the percussions I mute mute both of them Alright, I'm new married in section. Oh, one problem is that guitar is not in the group, so let me go ahead and put it in the group. Here it is. So it's muted now. start putting my EQs um, on so I would add my EQs on sometimes I know I'm going to EQ in all the drums so I wouldn't waste any time I would just go ahead and put them on the, the um, drums right away right right away Alright, I wouldn't trouble the trumpets because I have some time that I, I decided decide last um, what which is what I'm gonna put on on the drum track. Right? But it's good to do it this way people because you have total control over it. And after you finish processing the drums, sometimes it needs a little bit more ear. So you will add a, a EQ or maybe some a little bit more width so you would add a, a, um, a width plugin and, and always I always add an extra compressor on this drum just to glue everything together right um, likewise the other instruments oh, right so that's basically how and whatever plugins delay I'm going to be using um, I'll always decide while I'm in the mix, I would go ahead and add add the the each plugin and these here, right? So when you add the plugin here, for example, you're gonna add I would add a reverb here, all right? Let's add the reverb here, 
And you have to have it um, wet, totally wet, right? If you want to add some pre delay on it as well. And this is large. Let's go with a plate to reverb. Licky, push the licky time up so we have it. And this is the gain. You always want this um, to a good dimension, right? Alright, so let's go for example on the Sinir. So, if I'm going to be adding, um, let's say I'm going to be adding, I need some reverb. Alright. Oh, I have it on the wrong one. Okay, okay let's drop it over here. Here we go. Alright. So go. That's a pre delay. I will go ahead and fool around. That's a high pass filter, low pass filter, sorry. So you take off the, the high part, right? And this is the, um, the, the high pass. So you, you would hear the, 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 the low end coming out, right? If you want more pre delay Alright. Okay, that's it. And your diffusion here. Intensity. All right, so that's what these um, um, tracks, as they tracks are for, right? Sometimes you would probably go and add, um, and this is to reduce CPU usage, and basically you're gonna be using the same reverb and most of the tracks. For it to gel, so um, um, as the track would be good if you have a special delay that you are using and the delays that you have and this is not good, it's fine to go on and add one a delay from whatever you have, right? And add it on the track itself, right? right. But those are in, in general. Okay, okay, so, so thanks, thanks again, people, for watching. I appreciate the feedback and the views, the subscription and all. I appreciate it. And remember, check the website. The link is on the screen here. www.smallaxmp.com I have a lot of meat there, right? And I also... Um, make track um, to your like or if you have a song you send it to me which I did a lot um, so a lot of people prefer to have the, the track um, make to the, the, the song that we have written right so feel free to link me up all my information is on the website or you can hit me up through YouTube, SoundCloud, all the links will be in the description bar below um, send me a message um, you could send me a song a, a demo of your song and I'll make a, a, the beat for it right and we work along and till you get what you really want right so feel free to hit me up right remember to read like and subscribe I really appreciate you guys um, all your tuning in to Smarlax. So, one love.
Big up. Happy weekend. No flow again. No smile. Music productions. One love.